Sylvester Grenada, Kirill Thomas, Pinock Jamaica, Austin Guyana, Rose Jamaica, Shepard Bahamas. Could get another really fast time here. Don't think the record will be threatened. But sub 46 definitely on the cards. Pinock, the Jamaica number Set. two in five. The favorite is in seven. Stan. And Malachi Austin has raised his hand after they went in the set position. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. He may get away with it here, but that's not allowed. Not after you have been given the set command. That hand needs to be raised before the set command comes. I thought he was Ooh. going for the red for a second there. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah. I think he, the, the, the assistant starter nearly got a lecture from Dr. Ufan Ali there. I'm grateful that we can be a little forgiving at the Carifta Games. Yes. Might not be the case at the highest level. I still think it's important for someone to explain that marks. to him. Absolutely. Because if he does it elsewhere, he probably will say, but I got away with it at Carifta. I assure you, he won't be doing that again. Ali and Pompey will have a talking to, to him. Final of the under-20 boys, 400. Set. Off they go. Ooh. And the recall gone. I thought Javon Pinnock of Jamaica got away really quickly. Well, let's see what happens here. We hear Keith Joseph saying that something's not quite right, the stadium announcer. The fastest in qualifying, Malachi Austin of Guyana runs in lane number six. He was the man who had his hand up first time. You can see from that shot, the Jamaican Pinnock looked to have been the first away. Let's see what the decision is here. The officials come together to have a discussion on this one. I don't know what you saw, Terry. Well, I saw pretty much what you saw. Uh, Pinock to look, Pinock looked like he uh, got out a little bit early. Yeah, it gets red. He can't believe it, but Javon Pinock gets red. Disqualified for a false start in the under-20 boys, 400 meters. In my opinion, he was definitely the first to get away. I can't say whether it was before or after the gun, but he was definitely the first to get away. I'm hoping the officials looked at the centers because it... It was very close for me. Of course, I had my eyes on the Guyanese athlete, so I didn't even see him flinch, whether it was before or after the gun, but hopefully that's something. So he asked the question, third fastest under 20 athlete in the Caribbean this year has gone under 47 seconds. 46.84 at his best. I think he's probably asking for the reaction time. Here's a look at it. There was a slight twitch before the main movement. Of course, that may or may not mean something depending on whether the hands leave the ground. He is pleading his case. Let's see if he can convince the officials. I think they're saying, well, the reaction times that we have say that you fall started. Maybe now he's asking to run on the protest. Right. The body language of the official said that they've already made a decision. So that might be the next best thing. Yeah, I don't think they want any of this, the officials. Yeah, well, we said this morning when the starting apparatus was giving trouble that the, the starter certainly does not want to be the center of attention. And unfortunately... They are being drawn once again into the gaze of the camera. Once again, the remaining competitors must 
dial in and focus as Javon Pinnock finally accepts his fate and walks away. Will not get a chance to run for a medal in the under 20 boys 400 final. As distraught as he might be, decision has been made. And that is that. The doctor can help cure a lot of things. I don't think this is one of them. Unfortunately. Seven going in the under 20 boys 400 Seven. final now. Quick gun. And they are away. Marcinia Rose of Jamaica has gone out well in lane number seven. He is the favorite. He is the fastest in the field at 45.93. Also moving well. Thomas of Trinidad and Tobago down the back stretch. The Guyanese not quite into his running yet. Malachi Austin in lane number six. Marcinia Rose in charge of the race. Kirill Thomas of Trinidad and Tobago coming through well. Rolls in seven. Steps on the accelerator down the stretch. Thomas chases. So too does the Guyanese. And it's the Guyanese who is coming through. Yes. Malachi Austin strikes gold. The Commonwealth Youth Games <laughs> silver medalist last year. He steps it up and he takes the race in almost exactly the same fashion as Tiana Springer. Biding his time, running his own race, coming into it in the last 100 meters and taking gold here at the under 20 division against a highly favored Marcino Rose. The Guyanese have shot the Jamaicans in the under 20 division on both the girls and boys side. And it's Malachi Austin who comes up with a massive performance, 46-35. It's a lifetime best for him. Marcinia Rose has only run faster than that once in his career. And it was in the final of the Jamaican High School Championships just over a week ago. It's another medal for Grenada in the boys' 400 series. Julian. It's Sylvester who gets bronze here at 46.93. And the crowd going wild for another fine Grenadian quarter mile performance but pride of place goes to Guyana tonight in the 400s taking the under 20 titles on both the girls and boys sides Let's Julian Edmonds the coach he um, runs with the running brave club mm -hmm. and uh, he is certainly running brave right here coming into this uh, final 50 meters uh, if you've ever had the pleasure of hearing Coach Julian scream, um, <laughs> that sound would be replaying in your mind right now because it's unforgettable, almost identical race on both ends from our men, our boy and girl under under 20, Mr. Austin here, coming through in the last 100 meters to run by the Jamaican. Of course, it's no good for my heart, but the end result is the same. Two goals for Guyana. I couldn't be happier. Even our, our under 17 um, athletes didn't medal of course but both of them yeah did really well malachi austin 46 35 to snatch gold marcinia rose 46 59 for silver joshim sylvester 46.93 to take the bronze medal and you can see coming across there what it meant to the young man to be able to snatch that uh, victory and to be able to set a new personal best mark in the 400 He's had experience on the big stage last year. Uh, his team, uh, Tiana, uh, part of that team as well as McPherson, took gold, historic gold, at the Commonwealth Youth Games in the mixed 4x4. Four 